Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about copy data activity. Previous video, we discussed about the overview of data pipelines, which are similar to Azure Data Factory. So please that check that video, then come to this video uh, to get most out of it. Okay. So what is this copy data activity uh, and how it works? So this is one of the most commonly used activity in a data pipelines actually. And when we use this copy data activity is when we want to take the data from source to sync in a raw format. So to explain you this, let me go to the whiteboard. So let's assume you have a uh, maybe let's assume you have one. It, this is like a source data source. Okay, so source can be anything. It can be SQL. It can be Gen2. It can be anything, right? So some data source where data is there and you have some destination location or a sync location. So you want to take the data as it is in a raw format and you wanted to keep it in a sync location. Then in that case, use the copy activity. Okay. So this copy data activity help you to take the data as it is raw format and load it into the sync. It won't apply any transformations when I say no transformation. So when I say transformations, what that mean is uh, maybe aggregating a data, all that kind of stuff like querying the information and taking that kind of stuff it will not guarantee so it will so in your mind when i wanted to move the data as it is in a raw format then consider using a copy data activity so after copy data activity in a pipeline maybe you can use a, a, a notebook activity to perform the transformations on top of data so when i say transformation it is like changing the data aggregating a data taking what is needed something like that right so focus is on a copy activity for this video so let's try to have a copy activity uh, like let's see how it look like and how to use that in practical so if i go to my browser so i have this workspace uh, uh, my workspace in this if you remember i have this lake house sample lake house in sample lake house right i have one table so in in sample lake house i have one table like this one mahir prd right so what i wanted to do is this table data i wanted to take and then maybe load it into the data folder somewhere okay so let's perform the copy within the lake houses in real time it is not like within the lake house you can do you can take it from external store you can take it from uh, variety of the sources actually uh, but for simplicity focus is on a copy activity to understand so let's use within the lake house taking the table data keeping it in a file so what i will be doing it is i am going to my workspace creating a new item so let me select data pipeline so pipeline 3 that is a name let me hit create button to create that pipeline So pipeline creation is in progress. So here I am going to use this blank canvas. Use a copy data activity here. So it created a pipeline with a copy data activity there. And whatever the settings you see here, these are the settings related to the copy data activity. So click that copy data activity. And uh, here it's a name, description. You want to make sure in the entire ETL flow, this activity should be activated or deactivated. Time out, maybe run for the 12 hours. This, that is what it is saying within the 12 hours it will not finish then time out so retry if the failure happens then retry the activity execution once again so all kind of a general settings mainly in the source so i want to take a data from a source and load it into some destination right so in my in my case i will use the lake house table to the lake house file folder so click these connections there are high chances that your connection is already available or you can hit this more uh, in my case, I want to connect to the lake house, right? So you can hit this new and you see here variety of the connectors are available. You can connect with all these systems and take the data. So in my case, it is a within the fabric, fabric lake house. So I'm going to the lake house, one lake, and I have this sample lake house, which I got created. I selected it. So that's the connection. So I want to connect to the sample lake house and take the data from the table under the source. So tables are fine. So here I have out, I have to select a table. So this Mahir PRD table data, I have to take it. So let me preview this data to see how many rows we are there. So I think around 12 rows were there. So let's make sure that so that once we perform the copy activity, we will go to the destination and see whether the data landed correctly or not. You see around 12 rows are there. Okay. Uh, I mean, preview is giving only 10 rows. Actually, it is it has a 12 rows. Okay. I will show you that. So to show that, let me go to the sample lake house here. Uh, you see here totally 12 rows right so now going back to my pipeline uh, 
so now I have to configure the destination where I want to load. So I said within the Lakehouse under files, some, some folder I have to load it. So select the same sample Lakehouse connection and in the files, let me browse the location. So under the data folder, so this is the location of the Lakehouse only. Under the data folder, maybe click OK. Uh, maybe I wanted to load it like a Mahir testing.csv. So that is the file name I wanted to give. And then mapping, what this mapping will help you is when you hit this import mapping, it will go to the source and it will take all the schema, that means column names and data types. It will try to show you that here. And you can map them accordingly to the destination. So from the source side, I got all the columns and data types. Maybe source side product ID, I want to map it as a product ID only in a destination. So assume you are loading, your destination is a table. You have a column called ABCD. Product ID should go into the column ABCD. Then you can do that mapping there. So source and sync column mappings, you can do it there. Okay. And settings actually help you to perform the optimization. So you can see there is standard balanced maximum and auto optimization degree of parallelism and there are fault tolerance something else so all these details i have discussed in my data factory playlist in a copy activity so please check that uh, and i will see if i can cover in this playlist as well okay so basically i am done with my copy activity configuration taking the data from the mahir prd table loading it into the data folder so let me save this pipeline and let me go to the run button sorry run menu here and i can hit this run button to start running this execution and see whether the data will get moved or not. You can see the pipeline execution started under the notifications and uh, when pipeline is running, it will automatically start showing it under the output tab too. You see copy data activity is running from five seconds, input, output, all the details it will show. So once the execution completes, I can hit this output and see how much data moved and all other stuff. So let's wait for the execution to complete. I think it's completed now. Now if I go to the output, it says 12 rows copied, right? So we are good. And this is the run ID as we discussed in our previous video, right? This is the pipeline run ID. So now let's see whether the data actually moved it or not. Because copy data activity helps us to move the data. So I'm going to the files and I'm going to the data folder. So I should see Mahir testing dot CSV file. So let me refresh this data folder. I think that's where I have loaded it. You see Mahir testing.csv and if I open, I see all the 12 rows here correctly. So that means using copy activity, I am able to move the data from source to destination. In this case, we have used a lake house. In reality, it can be anything. You can hit variety of a sources and variety of a sync locations. It can be a Azure, some external storage in, within from your local system. Anything it is possible. Okay. So that's it in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.